What are some signs that you are being manipulated? Thinking to yourself, no he, she wouldn't be doing this on purpose to me, one too many times. Manipulators often induce uncomfortable, negative feelings such as fear, guilt, or shame to get you to do what they want. Pay attention to the feelings you get around other people. Everything is always your fault. When you catch them in a lie and you know they've lied, but they still don't admit they've lied. You're questioning yourself. The term gaslighting is often used to identify manipulation that gets people to question themselves, their reality, memory or thoughts. A manipulative person might twist what you say and make it about them, hijack the conversation or make you feel like you've done something wrong when you're not quite sure you have. You're being manipulated when the essential message is. Be reasonable and do things my way. When you do what people want you to do, but they won't do what you want them to do. They use the threat of leaving a relationship to get their way. Edit, clarifying because several people have made good points about legitimate boundaries. I am referring to frequent threats to end the relationship over once instead of needs or threats instead of communication or compromise. I would absolutely differentiate these from an ultimatum and consider them manipulation. If someone is discouraging you from talking to or hanging out with your friends and family. 1. The feeling of walking on eggshells. 2. The sick feeling in your stomach when you think they're mad at you about something. 3. You no longer have friends. 4. You have issues with family. 5. Nothing about your life is of your choosing. 6. You filter everything you say to avoid fights. 7. Suppressing your opinions. 8. Feeling like you're living someone else's life. 9. Constantly complimenting the person. 10. Constantly reassuring the person. 11. Always putting their feelings before yours. I could keep going but I'm sure you get the picture. If they do something that hurt you and you end up apologizing instead. Or, if you tell a person that you're uncomfortable with, say, certain types of jokes, but they keep telling you that you're just too sensitive. Basically if they make you feel bad for their actions. You are being forced to make decisions that you are uncomfortable with. You feel like someone is always pushing you to make rushed decisions. You never get the last word. Someone behaving differently in public versus in private. Usually you don't really realize it. When other people start telling you there's a problem that's when you finally realize. That's what it took for me. When you look back later you can finally see what everyone else saw. 10 signs you're being manipulated. And hash x200b. 1. They constantly make you prove yourself. 2. They communicate passively aggressively. 3. They gaslight you. 4. They are always just joking. 5. They play the victim card. 6. They kill you with kindness. 7. They make your problems feel small. 8. They emphasize their calm, cool and collective side. 9. They use emotional blackmail. 10. They take advantage of your trusting and sensitive nature. Some signs that I know of because research are. If you defend yourself against the manipulator, but then they play innocent and make you feel guilty, and making themselves feel like the victim. If they keep you from you friends, make you drop connections with others. Gaslighting, choosing certain things for you, i.e. food, clothing, just what they want, and stuff you might not like, making you stay home instead of going out. And there are tons of more, but those are what I decided to list because I'm lazy. Manipulators are extremely jealous and needy usually narcissist type. They will start small by getting you to do little favors for them then they get angry if you don't do everything they ask. And a lot of Munipulavi people will start fights and argue for no reason. Just endless fights. About who is right. Aggressiveness, anger, conversation steering at the very beginning of a discussion that they don't want to have. The conversation will never occur, there is always something that stops or diverts it, endlessly. Reading this thread and replies and thinking, oh, shit, is probably not a good sign. Who said anything about being manipulated? You're crazy. At some point you stopped doubting them and started doubting yourself. That's a sign you've been gaslighted. For me, it was being accused of being overly sensitive. Turns out it's completely reasonable to be offended by offensive things. Hashtag it s too good to be true. Don't feel like you can trust yourself to know what's real or not, you don't know if you can trust your own memory. Always feel on edge around them even though nothing's happening, something bad could happen at any moment even when things are normal. They make a lot of situations about themselves. Or say things, how do you think 4x makes me feel, when you don't wanna talk or when you have something going on. A big red flag is that you feel utterly miserable after spending time with them. 
A much, much bigger red flag is that you desperately want to spend time with them again. Toxic relationships are fiercely addictive, more than any substance I have ever tried. If a person makes you absolutely miserable, and you feel like you can't live without them, you're in serious trouble only some very good friends, and if possible a therapist, can get you out of that. Anybody who forcefully attempts to assert their trustworthiness, isn't. When you share your feelings with someone and they turn it into something about them, to make you feel guilty about sharing in the first place. When you call them out for doing something hurtful and they say, yeah, I'm a piece of shit then, or, if you want to believe I did that, then I can't stop you. When you have to keep assuring someone that you are not manipulating them. Manipulators always accuse others of being manipulative. If you start questioning your own feelings, you are being manipulated. Never let anyone make your feelings feel invalid. When you feel like you're crazy and feel guilty for doing things that aren't bad, don't harm anyone but piss off the person gaslighting you. Red flag 1. Important information is missing or needs drug out into the light kicking and screaming. There is a reason they don't want you to have it. Asking if you are being manipulated. SRS. When you give and give and give and they keep taking without giving back. Bad gut feeling. Our bodies often know before we do. I thought you loved me. You feel uncomfortable, but can't pinpoint why exactly. Alternatively, you can figure out the problem, but talking about it with the manipulator doesn't resolve anything. The silent treatment. You constant being given the feeling you are doing something wrong. Behavior towards others painfully different than behavior towards you. Keeping you from family and friends. Calling you wherever you are for control. Change treatment of you without giving reason. I'm sorry I acted that way, but you kinda brought it on yourself. I'll probably get downvoted for this but, if someone is truly good at manipulation, there aren't signs. You don't notice. You only realize you were being manipulated in retrospect. Being accused of behavior that was originally exhibited by the accusing party. Simple version is say a friend of yours is being extremely hostile, you respond in a frustrated manner wherein out of context you wouldn't be viewed in a good light. They then go about telling mutual acquaintances that you are hostile. When her wife is being a fucking asshole saying if you don't buy her something expensive she will get another man. Every time you say something, they make you feel like it's your fault or like you're the villain, making you question your judgment and own memories. You clicked on this. When a person starts making you question your sanity and you feel confused a lot. If someone tries to tell you that you can't leave them because you're all they have. Red flag 100% of the time. Phrases like, don't you trust me? Any entity that positions itself as being above criticism is always trying to manipulate you. When your behavior around that person is entirely narrowed down to things that won't upset that person, because they have trained you with the constant threat of their bad emotions. Apologies without change. I once read, verbatim, apologies without change are manipulation. Fucking A. When claimed, facts, slowly doesn't match with the reality. Leaving every interaction feeling like you compromised, you were made to feel at fault, like you need to make something up to the other person even if it was a blatant issue with them. I got upset at my ex for staying up late and getting absolutely blasted drunk with my friend, who was an alcoholic, and I felt very insecure about if they liked each other because it was such a weird dynamic for them to do this behind my back. I brought up that I felt disrespected because I was woken up at 3 a.m. on a work night by the two of them laughing and then her throwing up in my living room. I knew she had a problem, but when I brought it up with him, he packed up all his stuff, told me I was awful, and made me apologize and beg for forgiveness. Yeah fuck that. When my dog acts like he needs to pee right now and I get up to let him out, only to learn he just wants a cookie. Dog. 